hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is thursday and whenever i'm sitting here with the box cutter expect we have a haul <laughs> but anyways happy thursday it's five o'clock and wanted to film this uh, before it gets dark because now it gets dark early which i love you guys know i love this time of year i don't need to get into it but i'm just so excited and i have been in such a creative rut lately and i think that i'm just kind of overwhelmed with the due date coming up not really being able to wear a lot of my clothes like i feel like you guys probably see me in this exact outfit so many times um it's just like nothing's fitting me and i don't want to keep spending money on maternity clothes so i'm very grateful that i get to work from home because i can wash stuff quickly and um nobody's seeing me so it's not like anyone knows that i've been wearing this you know like every single day pretty much no i have clothes it's just hard so yeah and you know with october it's my favorite month of the year and i feel like my creative juices are starting to flow again so i have a lot of fun ideas for my tiktok for confetti and um just everything that's to come so yeah um anyways i was gonna go to spin tonight not feeling it at all and i'm gonna let myself just be lazy <laughs> not even lazy just let myself rest um i can kind of be hard on myself with like feeling like when i have free time i need to be doing something and i will i have a lot of work that i need to get done for the store um so i'm just taking a little bit of a rest because i just worked a full eight hour day actually eight and a half hours because i had to make up some time for monday um so yeah, I'll get back to work. I'm going to watch some YouTube, some Gilmore Girls. I just started that back up. My favorite show to watch during the holidays and um, holidays and Halloween fall time. Um, and then, yeah, October. So I still have my spin membership until October 31st, but I don't know. We'll see if I go. <laughs> I hate it because you have to give a 30 days notice, so I'm technically still paying for a month, but... I'm just really nervous that I'm going to do something. My back has been hurting me, especially after I work out and I just don't want to risk anything. And to be honest, I'm just feeling not up for it. So just allowing myself to have this time to relax because I don't know what's ahead from what I hear and what I read and all the advice I'm given um, is to expect to not be able to rest as much. So take it all in now. And that's what I'm going to do. So anyways, I just got a order in from Shop Impressions, which is an online boutique. They have really cute stuff. It's like exactly what I want Confetti Babe to eventually be like. But slowly but surely we'll get there. I can't believe we just celebrated our five years. Um, and I'm so grateful to my father-in-law. He lives with us. He got us soup tonight, which just sounds so good. And I don't have to make dinner. I was going to do a crock pot meal because, again, I was going to go to spin. Brad has to coach tonight. So it would have been, made it easier. But we're going to do the crock pot meal tomorrow. I'm going to take you guys with me this weekend. We have a lot of fun stuff tomorrow at work. And then nails. Nail appointment, which I don't know what color I'm going to go for. Definitely a fall tone. Um, and then Saturday, we have Brad's soccer game. I want to show you guys the new car it's very exciting um and then sunday we have our cookout um, we're doing a cookout for brad's soccer team so all the guys are coming over i'll probably go out hang out for a little bit um and then probably start working on Kason's nursery i'm the only girl there because my sister's not able to make it and brad told them just the team so i'll help out where i can but obviously like Brad and the team won't want me like heavy lifting anything so probably be on dish duty which is totally fine I'll listen to a podcast or something but it'll be fun to set up so anyways just place this order guys when I tell you my camera's was dying this is the most extra order but it's just so freaking cute and I'll be able to wear this before I'm hoping the these will fit my calves are pretty swollen my feet but I had to have them and they were having a sale so I got these boots. I've been eyeing them and they were like $80 at first and then they were on sale for $40. So I was like, yeah, you're coming home. So we'll see if these fit. The calves look pretty big. So I'm going to try these on. Like I said, my camera's dying. And then this jacket. I, I'm in need of a new winter coat. But did I need this extra of a winter coat? No, I didn't. But it's 
so cute, you guys. And it was kind of not expensive, but it was pricey. And you guys have been following. Sorry, this is really annoying. Um, my or if you watched my last vlog, I have a wedding at the end of October, and I was like. Again, I have plenty of coats that I can wear, but I'm like, this would just complete the look. But we'll see how um, cold it is, because it's like, actually the fur is adjustable too. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. All right, I'm just going to hold it up because my camera's dying. But it's this pretty pale pink pea coat with this uh, faux fur, of course, um, lining. And it is, you can take it off. <gasps> I'm so excited. I think it's so stinking cute. I, one thing about me is I love anything pink. Another thing about me is I love a good pea coat. I am obsessed with this and I actually think this will work for my cousin's wedding because if it is like a really hot October day then I can take off the fur. But regardless I'll be able to wear this for a while because it stays pretty cold in um, New England so for a long time so I love it. Alright anyways you guys I'll take you with me um, this weekend. We still have one more day of work but I wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm going to go eat my soup and then get back to work and watch some Guilt More Girls. Wait, you guys. I'm obsessed. This is everything. Everything. <gasps> I'll link this below. I am obsessed. If it's still in stock, I like got it as soon as it went live because I feel like their stuff goes pretty quick and I'm obsessed with this. Oh my goodness. Neat. I'm so happy I got this. It's so extra, but I love it. You guys, I'm so sad. I really, I haven't even tried the boots on. It still has like the tissue in. Oh, that's so annoying. I got them on sale, so I'm hoping they'll be able to do something. Oh, God, I love these too. I'm, even if it's store credit, I'll repurchase these. They're so stinking cute. I'm so annoyed. Ugh. Hey you guys, happy Friday. So good news, I was able to return the boots. They did say that the boots are supposed to be like that. You guys, I have so many pairs of boots and I've never seen them look like that, but let me know. They said it's so there's room for stretch. Regardless, I didn't even try them on because I didn't want to rip them more, but too bad because I really love them. But anyways, um, it is Friday. It's 4. 30 finally done the work week today was super busy my eyes are killing me i'm exhausted it's pouring out i'm so sick of this weather but we're gonna go get our nails done so here's my outfit i'm wearing this hat it says pumpkin spice latte from confetti um and my white top as well i was thinking about changing this and maybe wearing something a little bit heavier but it'll do for now and then i'm just wearing this black maternity onesie from amazon and then this purse is also from amazon i get a lot of questions on it so yeah let's go get our nails done and then brad and i oh and then i'm gonna go to bath and body works i think yesterday i told you guys i want to go to marshall's my nail salon is like right next to bath and body works so they're having a deal on candles and i think i saw a deal on hand soap and if not then it's fine i'll just pay the seven dollars it saves me the trip to home goods so um and then Brad and I are going to grab a bite to eat. We're going to go tea tonight. We're going to go tomorrow. I told you guys we have a cookout on Sunday for his soccer team. So I was thinking we would eat at home tonight and then tomorrow. But Brad said it would be better if we did it reverse. Went out tonight and stayed home tomorrow so we can like clean and set up and do all the things. So made sense to me. I didn't feel like cooking. So let's go get these bad boys done. Oh, my nails. Not my nails. My, my nails. They're pretty grown out. But... My ring, it's so sad, it doesn't fit me anymore, so I have to wear one of the rubber ones, but alrighty, let's go. Okay guys, losing light, but I went with this pretty nude pumpkin pink color. I'll show you in better lighting. I didn't go to Bath and Body Works because it's pouring out. So Brad and I are gonna go grab dinner. I'll check in with you guys later on. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. So it is 9.48 change of plans so a lot of changing of plans happening <laughs> but um not going to the soccer game it's just overcast and it's kind of i didn't realize how far it is it's only an hour and 15 but they have a home game this week so figured i'd go to that and yeah brad was like honestly like if i were you i wouldn't go so i was like okay <laughs> um 
um it's more like i just don't really have anything planned or anything to do so i figured why not but we do have the cookout tomorrow like i told you guys and um i really want to get the house prepped the house is like pretty much fine and i'm hoping all 27 of them i'm like 27 that's a lot of people are um a lot of college boys at my house like oh it's fine I'm it, tomorrow looks nice the weather and everything so I'm hoping that they'll stay outside it's just more like obviously I want the house I want to do my Sunday reset pretty much today because I know I'm not going to be feeling up for it tomorrow and yeah we're having people over so that's kind of the plan I was going to stop at Starbucks but you guys yesterday I got a tall right okay last night a tall like the smallest size you can get um decaf iced coffee and it was six dollars i was like six dollars for a, it's like two sips i just needed it because you know you know when you go and get your nails done you have to have a coffee and i had already had my coffee for the day and I also have really sweaty hands, so <laughs> TMI. So when I'm getting my um, nails done, I like to have like a cold beverage just to keep my hands like not from sweating. Um, but yeah, I'm like, okay, my coffee at home is just as good and I'm not spending $6 on the coffee. That's crazy. So anyways and now i just went to spin it was such a good class i was actually able to do it so that's good i can always do the arm workouts anything else i tend to struggle with just because my back is really hurting me like really bad um and i skipped the yoga because of that so yeah um now i'm at home goods i know we said we we're gonna go to bath and body works but it was pouring out yesterday so I didn't want to get stuck um, walking around because I told you guys I showed you my nails it was um, the Bath and Body Works it's an outlet shop so like I'd have to walk um, around the outlets it's pretty close to the parking lot but still so we're going to Home Goods instead I want to look around at their fall stuff and then we'll go home and hopefully be productive I want to get some work done for the store and um, clean the house like I just told you guys and I would love to read some of my book it's getting really good and I want to get through it I'm really disappointed in the October I do book of the month and I thought that they would have such a good selection for it being like October like a lot of thrillers but I don't know I think I'm gonna skip the only one that sounds good and I sent it to my sister because she does it too and she said that's the one she was thinking about getting there's one that's gothic fiction I don't like those types of books it's when I'm dead um, their daughter abruptly goes missing. A medical examiner and cop realize their family's chromatic debt may be due. I don't know. I think I'm going to skip it just because there's other books I'd rather read. So disappointing to say the least because I had high expectations for October. But let's go to Home Goods. Hey you guys, it's haul time an hour later and a hundred dollars later. But you know, I feel like we got some good stuff and usually i'm like not super into um the halloween decor but this time i was like kind of living for it so i got a few things um which is crazy that this came to a hundred dollars but i got some good stuff and they had the cutest christmas stuff out too so i'm excited to be home it's starting to get busy and like i don't know i just get ever since the pandemic i never used i would go out on saturdays and sundays all the time to go shopping but ever since like the lockdown of the pandemic i just i don't know it just overwhelms me to be in stores that are overly busy which is why i love online shopping but i do love a good home goods and target trip so first thing i got is this pillow it says hey boo which i think is so cute so i'll show you guys where this is gonna go but we have like a little um seating bench like when you walk in and right now the pillows are kind of summery and pops of color and i thought that this would look cute so i got that or this might go on the couch i haven't decided um then i got another throw pillow which i love i honestly think this might have went viral on tiktok or i think the black one did with the white ghost um they didn't have it but 
um the thing with black is it's hard with riggins he sheds so much so yeah no matter how many times we would like clean it or whatever it would just be such a pain to keep up with so i really like the pink color um and then i saw this pillow because i have i'm gonna show you guys but i have two like harvesty pillows that are gonna go on our circle chairs i, I want to watch gossip girl so bad i think i might even watch like a halloween movie it's just so overcast it's pretty cold it's 55 degrees it's like not terrible but i'm definitely happy i didn't go to the game um but anyways i have two decorative like harvesty pillows and those are going to go on two of the spin chairs and then um we have three spin chairs so i figured this one can go on the third like the middle one i'll show you guys um and then i got yay my toy so tj maxx home goods best places to get dog toys this was only 5.99 and he loves like the ropes this is good because he won't destroy it in like two seconds but they have the cutest stuff for dogs i almost got him a dog coat too but i was like i don't know what size he'll be and everything so and i think i just i got him in last year but this one was good maybe i'll go back um once i get to my items but and then it, the last few things that i got if I'm saying it's like kind of crazy that this came to 100. Oh, you know what? I also got my cousin. I got married. Where is it? Um, in October, at the end of October, mid October. Um, so I had to get a card. They had the best cards there. I love Home Goods and TA Maxx. So I got these. They're little pumpkin. They feel and look like wax, but they are battery operated. So I got the white color. They had pink. They got the same color as this pillow, which I guess actually probably would look nice because they're gonna I think gonna be in the same room. I don't know. We're gonna play around. But instead I went with the neutral. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on our little console table. I think it'll look cute. They had so much good stuff, but I was trying to be good. I'm honestly proud of myself. It came to $97 that I actually didn't go over 100 because they really did have really good stuff. Um, oh, but yeah, they didn't have any good candles. I feel like you gotta really like, what's that saying? You really gotta like look through them and the candle section was getting kind of busy. So I was just like, oh, I don't really need any. And then I wanted to get hand soap and I did have it in my cart, but like I wanted to get fall, like Halloween decorative soap. Um, but I forgot to put it up at the register. So it was in my cart and I noticed it after I already was like checking out and the line was getting long. So you know, you know. So I was like, I feel like I'm holding up the line already. But yeah, let's go put this all away. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to decorate. The lady was like, this is such cute stuff. Like you're now such a good day decorate. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> three pillows and two pumpkins. But regardless, I'm excited. But I am so hungry, guys. So I'm going to make a little breakfast sandwich, make a coffee, a shower. It's just going to be a very chill Saturday, which I'm, I'm ready for. Like I said, it's just overcast. It's gross out. The thought of being home sounds amazing. We're making, I'm doing a crock pot meal today, which I don't usually do on the weekends. I like to save the crock pot meals for the weekdays. However, they're just like so convenient. And I thought I was going to his soccer game and wasn't sure when we would be home. So I was like, oh, I don't want it. We went out last night. So I want to make sure we have something tonight. And I know I'm not going to want to cook, yada, yada. But we have all the ingredients. So I'm just going to make that meal. And honestly, sounds good to not have to cook tonight either. But anyways. I need to go eat something. I'm so hungry. Alrighty, you guys. So it's now three o'clock. I've been cleaning. I still haven't showered just because I've been in cleaning mode. I watched Gossip Girl for a little bit. And now I'm going to attempt to put Kaysen's crib together. Um, like I said, I need to shower, but I figured I probably will get sweaty and hot doing this. So might as well just wait. Um, I usually like to shower right after my workouts, but just, you know, cleaning and everything. I've been bleaching the bathroom figured might as well wait so yeah um, I'm gonna try and put this together figured I have the energy to do it I can't believe we're already almost in our third trimester it's just insane how fast time is going by um, and I don't think I showed you his new you can't see it can you see it's like a little cloud light I think it's so cute and it's really cool it has like different settings so we can how do I do <laughs> We can make it cozy for him. 
change the settings. I'll link it. We got it off Amazon and then we just had our electrician come and install it. And there's like different settings. There goes the fan. I don't want the fan on, but it's really cool. So I love it. But I'm going to try. I'm going to put on some YouTube. And hopefully, wait, how do we do this? It's like almost too high tech. Whoa. There's a setting and it feels like wind. That one. And it sounds like it. It's really cool. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. That's a little too cold. <laughs> now I'm not like <laughs> Okay. Let's watch some YouTube. Try and get some of this done. Um, just because I know I'll feel really good about it. And I'll check with you guys later on. later here we are i'm really happy i can't believe how fast this took me i honestly thought this was going to be an all-day thing the only thing we need to do is screw in the mattress but i need to wait for brad to get home just because it is a two-person project you have to like hold the mattress while the other one screws in the screw i attempted it and my back was killing me and then i just need to put this on and screw it in so very exciting um still trying to like figure out where to put the crib i guess it could stay there i don't know and then i'm thinking over here and then put his changing table over here if it fits the only issue with this room is that the ceiling like concaves you know so i don't want to put anything over there where we're going to bump his head i could do the chain like keep the crib there the changing table there and then his the rocking chair over here. That could look good too. I just know you don't want to put a crib too close to the window. So we'll play around. Brad's so cute. He got his um, nursery is, oh my goodness, my back, um, is animal themed. So Brad wanted to get these little clouds to make it like a safari. I want to get like a little giraffe. It's gonna come together. I'm very excited. I can't, like literally can't believe how fast that took me. I'm like pretty proud of myself. I don't need no man. However, you do need a second person <laughs> to put the mattress on because my back was killing me. All right, let me go show you the decorations. All right, so here's this room. I think this is the pillow, the hay blue. I think it's so cute. Um, it just needs like two little throw pillows, I think. Um, and then I want to get more of the pumpkin lights I'm going to show you guys to put on the table. But super cute. I love it. Doesn't need anything crazy. Just like a few little a few little things just to warm it up and cozy it up a little bit. Okay, and here is everything else. So we have this pillow. This is the bench that I was talking about. Super cute. I tried the Hey Boo on this pillow, but it just needed like a pop of color. I think this looks cute. Um, perfect. I thought about another pillow, but I'm like, Mary fine <laughs> um and then here are the pumpkins i'm obsessed with them i'm gonna go pick up a few more um they're 12.99 and i want to put some on the mantel mantel <laughs> i feel like i'm saying that weird and then this is the pillow on the circle chair so one went right here and then those are just my um two throw pillows that i already had so yeah i think it looks so cute and cozy and i just i love these i gotta pick up more so i'm gonna put like one or two on the mantle and then a few in that other room but let me show you what it looks like the lights on it just looks so cozy and i gotta turn on that light too but 
yeah, that's the decor. I think we still need a few more things and then we'll wrap it up. But the good thing about these pumpkins is we can keep them out until after Thanksgiving. I'm obsessed, I love it. Hey guys, so it's now a Sunday. I'm uploading this video today, so I do apologize, but I wanna get two videos up for this week. I left my camera at my sister's house and I just saw her. So anyways, make sure you subscribe. I hope that this vlog is long enough and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.